Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Tundra Mission. If I sound a little funny today, it's because I just came from the dentist. I actually had to have a crown replaced because the last one that I have, a little bit of the tooth broke off, so I had to have a whole new one done. Anyway, I'm a little numb, so I'll apologize if you cannot understand me. Uh, what I'm doing today, we're doing a little emblem change on the front of the Toyota Tundra. We're turning it into a Honda Ridgeline. Do you think anybody will know the difference? If I put that on there and drove around, would they think this truck is a Honda Ridgeline? Of course, the dead ringer is the Tundra right down here in the front. But you never know, right? But that's not what I'm going to do. That would be too tacky, even for me. What I've discovered is you can easily pull off the emblem on the front of this truck, the Toyota emblem. I have it sitting right over here, and actually I discovered it is just an overlay on top of a chrome emblem. You can see the edge right there. I'd have never known. I thought the black emblem on the front of the truck with the black grill was black. It's not. It's chrome. They just put an overlay over it. How about that, right? Now, I could take the overlay off and go ahead and paint what I'm going to do here. And you might be able to see a little bit there. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I think I'm just going to paint the overlay. That way, if for some reason I don't like it down the road or whatever, I could take the overlay off and then do something with the chrome part underneath. Paint it black, red, purple, you know, whatever. Who knows? So what I'm going to do... I'm going to scuff this up a bit, and then I'm going to prime it with this high temp primer, 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, right? And then I'm going to paint it regal red, because regal red, I think, for my eye, is as close as I can get to the TRD red, which you can see right there, right? I mean, it may not be perfect, and it kind of depends on the lighting, but it's close enough, I think, that it'll be okay. Let's take a look at it out here in the bright sunlight. Just for one more check before I make my final decision. I think it's close enough. You're not going to see them right next to each other. Obviously the TRD that's on the wheel versus the red that will be on the emblem up here. Let's get that thing off of there. There we go. I know that's a sin, right? You just stay right there. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and paint this. It'll take a few days for it to cure, obviously, so it'll be a little bit before you actually see it on the truck. Now, one other thing I want to mention before I get into the painting. To take this off, it's just held on by three little pressure pins on the back. You can see here. All you have to do is reach through, unless you have gargantuanly huge hands, which I don't. Actually, it would be better if you had skinny, long fingers but reach through and kind of push this thing out a little bit. Stick something inside while you do the next one, and then I didn't even have to do anything on the bottom. I was able to just gently pry it off. Nothing broke, not even the hint of anything breaking. So very easy to do, and all I'll have to do to put it back in is just push it back in through those holes. Pretty darn simple. Okay, as far as painting this emblem, um, I'm just going to rough it up with a little bit of, uh, what do you call this, red, purple, scotch bright. You just want some fine micro scratches in the surface so that you give the paint and the primer something to adhere to. And then I'll use um, a little bit of tack cloth, they call it, or cheese, cheese cloth is what I call it, just to clean the surface. And finally, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and then we'll get to the painting part. So this is something... Not going to see really well on camera because the scratches in it are pretty fine. Now you can see it's a, a bit duller. Just using a rag to kind of wipe some dust off before I hit it with the cheesecloth and ultimately the rubbing alcohol. All right, now we're just going to hit it with the cheesecloth to kind of get in the nooks and crannies uh, to be able to get that stuff out of there. We don't want any little ridges or bubbles any more than what is going to happen anyway, I'm sure. But this stuff is great, just tacky enough to 
remove the dust but not so tacky that it uh, leaves a residue and even if it did we're going to hit it with a rubbing alcohol so it won't be that big of a deal just make sure you get in all the little tight areas that's what I'm really trying to accomplish with this and that should be good put this away for hopefully another day and now we'll grab some rubbing alcohol and a cloth rubbing alcohol is great it dries really quickly so it's not like it's still going to be wet or anything or I have to wait for it while I'm eager to paint you know just kind of wipe it down ideally if you want to be really uh, particular about this you would be using gloves because your skin actually you know has oil on it so that would be even better but honestly I hate working in gloves so I prefer to not it's funny too these are supposed to be lint free rags right well there's always lint on them so and that's going to be about it so now we'll just sit it over here and it will be ready to get some primer on it and ultimately some paint okay time to spray got a couple projects going on here so I'm gonna do this at the same time probably gonna see this in two different videos by the way if you haven't please uh, hit that subscribe button here and check out my other channel either a Rob Motive or Tundra Mission depending on which of these videos you're watching now as far as the uh, primer goes I try to hit it just lightly two or three times with about five to seven minutes dry time in between and then after the final coat that you do you need to wait about an hour before you start to paint same process about three or four coats five to seven minutes in between and then let it dry for maybe uh, an hour or so before you put a clear coat on if you're going to put a clear coat on now on this one I'll probably put a clear coat on this but not on these although since I have everything sitting here I'll probably just go ahead and clear coat both And there you go and I'll come back do more coats and then we'll get to the paint part okay it's been about an hour about 50 minutes or so I'm gonna combine these two for this next part uh, one is for a different video depending on which one you're watching uh, we're gonna paint the Toyota emblem red make sure I get this right and the backings for the black horse uh, sport bar orange so I'm gonna start with the orange I guess so let's do that same procedure just a thin coat gonna do three of them I think then another hours drying time and then we'll put some clear on them boy that is orange Wow There you go. I know a lot of overspray, right? Who knows how many different colors there are in here. Let's hit this one with red. It's called Regal Red. Wow, that's kind of a different shade. Oh well, let's do it. That's going to look too cool. All right, now, five minutes of dry time, we'll hit them again. You get the idea, that's how it goes. 
Um, I'm happy with both colors actually. I think this red is going to look really cool against the uh, black of the truck. We shall see down the road. I'll come back on after the paint's all dried and we do our clear coat, the final part. And then we've got about, eh, about a week's worth of dry time. Maybe a little less because neither one of these are going to be roughly handled. They're just going to be put on, but close to a week. Okay, the final step of this lengthy process uh, is the clear coat. This is just a, I guess, a gloss crystal clear, indoor and outdoor. So, three light coats of this, five to six minutes in between. Let it dry forever and a day, and then I'll be ready to put everything back on. So, let's go ahead and hit it. Whew! That stinks, let me tell you. There's coat number one. I'll do two more and then uh, I shall be done. Looks like I got a little bit of dust right there. Not going to touch it, just going to leave it alone. Okay, I am done. Three coats of clear, three coats of paint, three coats of primer, and about three hours worth of painting and waiting. Uh, this is the finished product. Of course, they have to dry. It came out really well. So far, I'm not seeing any imperfections in it other than what would have been there before. So, that's what it looks like. I'm more interested in this one uh, because it's going to be on the front and you can see everything. There's a little something there I see. Other than that, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Again, this is for the Tacoma, the Sport Bar, and this is for the Tundra, the Front Emblem. That's it. That's the video. I will be installing them down the road. They'll just be a piece of another video somewhere. There's not a whole video in putting these on the trucks. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And don't forget, click that subscribe button for whichever channel you're on and the other one, Rob Motive and Tundra Mission. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.